And uh, I actually watch a lot of your videos all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was telling Sean, I said, take a look at some of Fred's videos. And yesterday, while you were looking at his video, I would tell him to take a look at some of your videos because they're very inspiring mm -hmm. and thought provoking. Oh, is this YouTube done? Congratulations. No, it's, it's family. You wouldn't. All right. He shot my documentary. So why? And I appreciate y'all, man. Like, I don't read too much, you know, but I, I know, like, the guys that are out there pushing and fighting and, and trying to get people to see things, you know, the right way. I know that y'all been doing your thing, man. And I know people try to, you know, quiet y'all down and yeah. stuff like that. And I couldn't tell you, man, guys like yourself. The stuff you're doing, um, it, it's something you can apply to your life. So. Barbershop conversation, guys. So I'm listening to <laughs> the media with Adrian Broner. And I got a DM on this too. And it's funny. I got that DM the same time I was thinking this. They are treating Adrian Broner like he's the president. Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan. Floyd Mayweather. Let him dictate the terms of how media interacts with him. You know, uh, the only person I will give a pass to is Ellie. Ellie has a relationship with Adrian Broner. And you never want... Also, his questions are kind of funny, but... Uh, you know, he has a relationship with him, so you never want to throw your friends under the bus. I wouldn't do that to the Watsons. I wouldn't do it to the Porters. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, as a matter of fact, I would extract myself from interviewing them because I know y'all motherfuckers going to come at me and be like, why you ask them this? So, just so you know, future reference, anything happened to them, go to somebody else's channel. But this goes to show, y'all better put some respect on my motherfucking name. I'm going to say that again. Put some respect on my motherfucking name. Because I deserve it. 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 And I'm I'm tooting my own horn. But but more more over than that, it's journalism. Adrian Broner's not above the fray. Oscar Dale Hoyer's not above the fray. I'm not above the fray. You understand? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And, and this goes to show you who's who's a fan. Are media members really fans? Or are they journalists? They fans out there. They acting like, listen, I've never been starstruck. Let me, let me pause for a second. Let me really, really digest that. No, I haven't because my two favorite athletes in terms of baseball is uh, Daryl Strawberry. He was in my first movie. Um, and Mark Jackson. He lives out here in L.A. I see him every summer. And boxing, Roy Jones Jr. And outside of that, I don't think I can be starstruck. And I and when I met them, I wasn't you could tell, I wasn't starstruck. And uh, but uh, yeah, man, some powder puff softball questions. Ah, it was so corny, so corny. Me, I let step your game up. Step. I don't know who all was in the interview because I didn't catch everyone's voice. But uh, they're my friends at the end of the day. They're my, my weekend family, as you guys hear me call them all the time. I'm challenging y'all, man. No more. I know you're not going to ask Oscar about those racist emails. So I'm not even going to I'm not even going to uh, put those expectations upon y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But step your game up. All right. Step your game up. Adrian Broner is the one fighter where you should feel comfortable asking this guy anything. There's no pressure, no pressure. I mean, the only the only one I would say is the most challenging one to ask the question to is the ones that don't speak English. You know, those are the toughest ones because you got to frame it. You know, your questions got to be less than five words, less than seven words. You know, uh, you know, and uh, but uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I know y'all respect me a lot more. I I know y'all respect me a lot more after listening because I know y'all were thinking the same thing, and this has nothing to do with whatever side you're on. I want to know why he punched that dude. I want to know why he pushed that woman that was trying to help him. I want to know uh, the three opponents he he wants to fight. Man, it's just bullshit. At the end of the day, it's bullshit. But uh, just goes to show you, I deserve an award. I deserve. I'm going in a YouTube Hall of Fame. Because you know why I'm not there this weekend? For that exact reason. I don't... I. Nobody signs my checks. I have the freedom to do and say whatever I want. 
not no, I don't mean it like that. I mean it like from a journalistic perspective, not I would never curse or curse someone out or be disrespectful, disrespect their family, disrespect their woman, disrespect their children. But I know I have the dexterity in my uh in my education levels to dig deep, to dig, dig, dig deep. I don't I don't think no I don't think too many people, you know, can can outdo me in a conversation, as you guys probably saw in the uh, in in the uh, Stephen A. Smith. He tried. He attempted to. He tried to filibust me. He tried. He tried, but I didn't waver. And uh, it takes that kind of journalism. So at the end of the day, man, they acting like, that interview was acting like fans, man. Uh, uh, they basically should ask him. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious, man. So shout out to the real ones out there, man. Shout out to the real journalists, journals, journalists, journalists out there, man. No one is above the fray. No one is above the fray. Now, if I have relationships with somebody, I will ask them off camera. Nigga, you fucking up. Fuck wrong with you. But not on camera. So best believe if uh if any of the Watsons, which won't happen, there's I mean, they they've been uh they've been groomed for media. Or the porters, you know, it won't happen to them either. But I will literally call Ken and be like, nigga, what the fuck is going on? I'll call Sam. Nigga, what are you doing? That's the kind of relationship we have. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I talk, I mean, yeah. Yeah, man, we have we have a true, real relationship. And uh, I will never, ever disrespect that or devalue it. But uh, Adrian Broner, y'all got to ask, y'all got to be creative with your questions. So what happened last weekend? You know, ask a soft question. What happened? TMZ reported. Take the pressure off of you. TMZ reported that you that you hit an innocent bystander. Take the pressure off of you. You know, put the pressure on TMZ. So he'll say, nah, TMZ don't know what the fuck they talk talking about. I don't want to talk about it. It's been resolved. Anywho, man. Still support their channels. They do a diligent job, man. Uh they have talents that I don't have, obviously, and I have talents that they don't have for obvious reasons. But uh, they are, you know, everyone does their job and everyone has a lane. That, that's what's beautiful about being human. There's over seven billion ways to live this life. There's over seven billion ways to be a journalist if everyone was a journalist. Right. So. Uh, uh, so that's basically it, man. I appreciate the DM because I was thinking the same exact thing. And I I. <laughs> I can imagine what uh, what other YouTube channels are thinking, listening to them. I mean, he has to have... The, and, 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 and this is how we give away our power. This is just an example of being a minority reporter. You have a great opportunity to get an exclusive with Adrian Broner. A great opportunity to find a way to dig into his truth. Find a way, right? Great opportunity. But what's going to happen? TMZ's gonna get that interview. Uh, CNN, but not, ESPN is gonna get that interview. And you just had you. He went down there to reshape his uh, uh, to reshape his public persona. He went down there to attempt to dictate terms, right? And he, he Agent Brona knew exactly what he was doing. He was going down there and get some free press. And if I lived in Vegas, if I was in Vegas and I was a fighter and I was famous, I would do the same thing. I would expand my brand. There's there's two names I probably would have said this weekend, Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and whoever else and the fight that's going on this weekend. Those are the three topics I would have wanted to discuss. Or whatever is going on, the little girl in Chicago, uh Erm uh, the hurricanes, you know, you, you want to stay current. You, you, you want your one-liners to be attached to something positive and something that's that's trending. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, but he was working on his brand, and the media allowed him to do it. So, uh, lastly, I'll say this: my respect meter should have gone higher, I, and I'm not perfect. Sometimes I'm a little bit abrasive when I ask the question. Sometimes I don't frame it to the in a space where. Uh, I give them an out because I know the answer that I want them to say. So sometimes I frame the question a little bit too stiff and don't give them dexterity to uh, to uh, hook, line, and sink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But overall, the things that y'all motherfuckers are thinking on your couch, I'm thinking on my couch. And um, 
Why did you punch an innocent dude? That's what we want to know. And what's next? Did you, did you get apprehended? Did the police come? We don't know these. We don't know what happened. And let him say no comment. Let him let him challenge me. Someone asked a question. Oh, it, it, believe it or not, it was a European guy. Uh, he had an accent. I don't overseas guy. I should say. I don't know whichever one fits. And uh, he said he basically said, I don't want to talk about it. Let's stay positive. Well, define positive. Have you changed since last Sunday? Challenge him. Challenge. Challenge him. Challenge him. Anywho, man, I wish I was there, but Adrian Broner, <laughs> the one thing about Adrian Broner, he knows when I come, it ain't no bullshit. None whatsoever. He knows. He will look me in the eye and he, we have a, gen I wouldn't say genuine, no no genuine respect, but he, he knows who I am. And he and I, over the past six months, has had some, some conversations off camera and some conversations on camera that you guys have seen. So, uh, but I would ask them. And, and, and. And I would have been wise enough to say, "Hey, Big, let me talk to you for ten minutes. I don't, I don't want no bullshit. I, I didn't want the other media outlets around. I would have framed him. I would have asked for the truth and got some resolve out of him because I don't want to leave it open ended to white media to say, "Oh, he's an asshole." No, we moving in the right direction. I would have put Adrian Broner on the right track at the end of the interview. I wouldn't have left him hanging like, "Oh, I hit that motherfucker. And now I got to go to jail." No, I don't know if he's going to jail. This is just a uh, uh, example. I would have put him at the end of the interview. I would have put him in position as if he's going to make the right move, right? Because at the end of the day, we all want everyone to succeed. Well, except y'all racist motherfuckers. But for the most part, we want everyone to win. And uh, that, that's how I genuinely feel. I, at the end of the day, I, I know I say that. Uh, I know I say that. Um, that I that I'm pissed off. But at the end of the day, man. No one leaves a stray dog on the street, man. How, how can you leave a little chihuahua on the street? So anyways, man, uh, that's it. Put some respect on my motherfucking name. Put some respect on my motherfucking name. <laughs> and follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be having so much fun on Instagram. Y'all get to see me fight in the gym, do my, my boxing workouts. Y'all got to follow me, man. My Instagram is kind of lit. I, I'm, I don't have a lot of followers. But my followers, we stay engaged. I respond. I, you know, I am who I am. I'm, I'm the guy that I'm the guy that you believe I am for the most part. You know, I'm not perfect, but uh, you know, what I mean, if you DM me, I'll respond, and and that's the best way too because sometimes I think because sometimes a video gets like 200 comments or 150 comments, and um, I miss some because not all of them go to my phone anymore. You know, because as the channel, as my channel grow, it don't facilitate more and more comments come and I miss your comments. So I see the comments that come to my phone and I miss a lot. But if you DM me, I'll respond. Seriously, I'm a, I'm a great responder. If I'm not asleep, I'll respond because obviously like everyone else in the world, you have your phone literally right next to you because <laughs> it's, it's your life. Right. So anyways, man, at the end of the day, I truly appreciate you guys support. You, I mean, literally, you guys are awesome. I love when y'all call me call me by my first name. I'd be like, yeah, that, that's pretty dope. We're building like this cyber relationship. So uh, instead of y'all don't call me barbershop conversations, like yeah, like how y'all call, uh, uh, like like how you have a channel, you call them by their channel's name. That's dope that you guys call me by my first name. I respect that. But it's really Frederick. So, but when I run for office again, when I run for mayor in L.A., um, it will be Frederick Hawthorne. So in about 10 years, you guys can expect that. I'm going to do it again. Do it again. Bigger city, bigger challenge. So, uh, yeah, let's get it popping. So I genuinely appreciate you guys. And, um, you know, challenge the media. Go to their channel. If they posted that video, go to their channel and tell them that they asked some bullshit questions. The only one I'll give a pass to, lastly, again, is Ellie. Because he has a he has a real relationship with Adrian Broner. He videoed Adrian Broner at his house after a fight. So, I mean, you got to respect that, you know, I, I'm not throwing my friends under the bus, you know, I'm not, I, I, and me and my friends have that pack, you know, like my accountability team that I tell you guys about sometimes, we have a pack, we're not throwing each other under the bus, no, we ain't do it, we rather lay silent, you know, so uh, I can respect that, but outside of him, y'all journalists got to step up your game, you guys sound like 
You guys literally ask the same questions that a fan will walk up to Adrian Broner and ask. Who are you fighting next? Uh, uh, who are you picking in the fight? Uh, uh, how are you and Floyd doing? Uh, uh. Retard, dig, dig. I challenge all y'all to dig. And don't take this as a jab because you guys know Fred don't duck a dodge. Literally, don't duck a dodge anyone. It's not, and I don't come from a confrontation and want to fight you space. I just want the truth like everyone else. I'm not there. I want the truth. And that's your responsibility to attempt to get the truth. You're not going to get the truth every time. You know, these guys are well versed in, 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 in manipulating the media. You know, so I, I, I get all that. So don't say I'm hating on other. I'm not hating on. I just want I just you have a great opportunity to begin the healing process. Adrian Broner is ignoring his ability to heal. What was the first step in A? Admit you have a problem. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm not challenging. Anyone. I didn't I didn't really get. It. Let's see. The only voices I heard. I heard um, boxing voice. I heard boxing ego. I heard. Ellie, uh, what's the other guy's name? What's the other guy's name that I know from Fight Hub? What's his name? Oh, man, what's his name? Oh, man, what's his name? Oh, man, Geraldo. What's his name, Geraldo? He, we talk all the time. <laughs> I can't think of his name, but anyway, he's a good dude. At the end of the day, he's a good dude. And uh, we all we all are like basically family, man, and... If I was around them, I would tell them, y'all got to stop asking us bullshit. They know. They know Fred. When, when Fred walks in the room, like, and, and, and now, you know, I've been doing, I've been doing, uh, when I attach, see, I was always doing the writing, but the last three years or four years I've been doing video. So now it done circulated. He going to ask them tell, he going to ask you whatever's going on in your life. And I, and I see them avoiding me, you know, for some part. And, and, and I respect that. Protect your brand. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm not mad at you. Protect it. And uh, if you don't want people to know about the realness, you know, so uh, uh, what else? Um, yeah, man. So that's it, man. So this ain't a jab at him. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. And we are in the fight game. So we got to fight to be at the top. And, I, and I'm not begging for none of y'all. Don't think this is a jab trying to get your subscribers. My channel is going to grow by itself with the support of you, hopefully. You know, but th this ain't because of that. I'm not no YouTube. Beef. I don't want that shit. No YouTube beef. Only YouTube beef that I want is them racist channels. The only people that I genuinely have a disdain for, the only the only channel that I have a disdain for, is uh, UCN and Montero Boxing, and uh, that's it. That's all I know of right now that that covers fights. You know, and guess what? I've told them. I've told them they've been in the game longer than me, you know, so, uh, you know, and and let this be a lesson learned. When you challenge people, it doesn't have to always come with your fist balled up, you know, it doesn't have to be. You guys know I'm a, I'm a pacifist, don't really believe in violence. I box five days a week. Uh, so, 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 you know, so, you know, my hand game is, is, is at, at least average, right? <laughs> But I don't even come from that lane. I'm not even in that lane. I just uh, want to challenge people to be better, to be greater. And um, that's it, man. So so let this be a lesson to learn, man. I know we in a, we in a literally alpha male dominated sport where you got to knock someone out to see who's better. But. We're not in the ring, and we don't always have to solve problems with a physical. We don't always have to solve problems with a physical challenge. All right, just mentally, just mentally challenge. Just spit the truth. Say, I mean, because I've been that guy a handful of times in my life in my twenties where I physically challenged a guy, you know. But in my thirties, man, no, nah, man, I got, I got kids to raise and money to make, man, and. Uh, and uh, I just don't want to do that from a uh, from a physical standpoint. And I'll, I'll I'll leave you guys with this. And why is that so important? Because that makes you fearless. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm fearless is because I attack people from a cerebral perspective. 
I challenge them from the humanistic spirit. We all want to be great, right? We all want the truth. I don't come at you like, nigga, tell me the truth, I'm going to fuck you up. No, nah, I, don't, I don't come from that lane. I'm not, I'm, I've genuinely never been that. I've had to defend myself a couple times in my life, but I've never genuinely been that guy where I just want to physically challenge you. Well, I'm a little dude anyway, you know what I mean? You know, I'm not into, because uh, you know what someone told me? Eventually, you're going to lose. The only thing that will remain is the boulevard in which you fight on. You know, and uh, you see gang members come and go. This is turning into a life lesson. I'm sorry, guy. You see gang members come and go, come and go, come and go. But what remains? King and Crenshaw, Slauson and Crenshaw, Florence and Hoover. Those streets remain. But you, you go in and out of jail. You're six feet deep. You move to the IE. You know, you in and out of rehab facilities. You can't get right. All that shit remains. I mean, all, but all that shit becomes transient, except the boulevard in which you thought you owned. <laughs> he said, what Jay-Z said, you, you, uh, you selling drugs where your mama renting or something like that. Let's be real kings, man. Let's monopolize our neighborhoods, buy up our property, and be real kings, man. I'm attempting to do that now. I'm, man, I'm, I'm, I want to buy up all of LA, which is... Which is irrat, which is a gross assumption, a gross reality. Not a, not a gross reality, but a not real. But what what Jay Z say? Why Jewish people buy all own all the property? It was just you know to get you to create an action out of yourself. And uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, and 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 that allows me coming from a cerebral perspective allows me to be fearless. You know, I'm I'm literally not afraid of, and I don't I'm not talking about with my fist balled up i'm literally unafraid not afraid of anybody you know i'm afraid of being fearful if you guys understand what i'm saying i'm afraid of failure follow me on instagram you guys will will fully understand where i'm coming from when, when i'm talking about that man you get an introspective look at more of me in my life uh, but um yeah man it's just let's get the truth man and i know adrian broner is the example in this video but let's search for the truth, man. Search, at the end of the day, let's all search for the truth. You know? You can't lie to yourself. You know? You can't lie to yourself. And uh, if you find truth in your life, it is a beautiful thing, man. It's a fucking spectacular thing. And uh, I, want, I, want, I want all of us to win. I want all of us to win. 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 You know, and if you have time this weekend, donate to Florida. Donate, I'm, I'm donating to Houston. You know, I've been a donating machine, man. The past, I'm not tooting my horn, but I just, I'm saying, I'm saying this to encourage you guys. I've been donating. I've been challenging all my friends to donate. We got to, man. And, and, and at this space, I instinctively wanted, I've been donating to black organizations. I've donated to, Latinos and Latinos and black organizations. I need to start. Like I tell you, I need to. I'm not there yet. My son is half Asian, so I'm not there yet in terms of donating to Asian organizations. I don't think about it yet. You know what I mean? I'm not. You know, it's like it's not even secondary yet. But I have to teach myself that. And uh, but uh, at the end of the day, man, it takes a village. This is where I was going. It takes a village. This is fucking 23 minute video. It's supposed to be six minutes. It takes a village, guys. And uh, uh, yeah, man. Love yours. L Listen to that song by J. Cole. I'm going to leave you guys with this. Love yours. That J Before you go to bed tonight, after you listen to this video, if you make it here, if you make it here, hashtag J. Cole or something. Oh, hashtag we are one. If you make it to the end of this video. And uh, listen to that J. Cole song, Love Yours. The good news is... You came a long way. The bad news is you went the wrong way. I don't want none of us to go the wrong way. And that pretty much sums up Adrian Broner. You understand where I'm coming from? So anyways, man, listen to that J. Cole song, Love Yours. I don't care if you hate me. You will be inspired by that song. All right. 
Uh, if you hate, if, if you listen to my channel just to hate me, I, I'm going to start remembering you guys' names that hate me. I'm going to start shouting you guys out just every now and again because, you know, I genuinely don't care. Y you can put nigga in the comment section 47 times in a row. Nigga, 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 like Justin Bieber, right? Nigga, 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 nigga. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> it really does. You're wasting your time. You literally try another person's chat. I'm 39. I'm 39, and this is the internet. <laughs> you can't. This ain't the fuck. This ain't fucking poke the dice where you can fucking go through the fucking TV or go through the fucking computer. <laughs> oh man, what you shit don't make. What you eat don't make me shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, man. Anyways, man. 24 minutes is long enough. Have a beautiful Wednesday, and uh, yeah. Let's at the end. Pray for A B. Alright. You have you have the right to pray for A B, but you don't have the right to feel sorry for the guy anymore. Okay? Alright, I'm gone. Peace. Hey, I just want to remind you guys, In Your Corner, a movie I directed on Foy Mayweather and Sam Watson, is out now on Vimo.com. In your corner, click the link in the description box. Uh and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys' support. And uh don't don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. Peace.